Hey there everyone, in this video we will showcase Technisha's growth tracker. This is a really simple way to track the growth of a child from 0 to 24 months and 2 to 20 years. You start by entering setup details like date of birth, gender of the child and the measurement units you are comfortable with like kilograms or pounds and centimeters or inches and then the date format that is date, month, year or month, date, year. Once you enter that, you can then start logging the measurement details that is the height and weight on each date you do the measurement and the tracker will show you the percentile range of both height and weight for the child and also you can see the child's progress on a percentile chart. All this data is based on WHO and CDC guidelines. Here is the sample chart for a girl child from 0 to 24 months. Initially, the setup data needs to be entered that is the name, date of birth and gender along with the format of date, the weight unit and height unit. Once the setup details are entered, then the tracking can start. All you need to do is enter the date, the weight measurement and the height measurement. And you can see the weight percentile based on the age and also the height percentile based on the age. In addition to this, you can track the progress of child's growth. The similar thing is available for 2 to 20 years. Uh, this is for a boy uh, who is Andy and again the similar details for setup is entered and once you start entering the date, weight and height, you can then track the progress of growth. Let's quickly see how to do the setup and the initial entering of data. So let's begin by entering a sample data. So let me pick the child's name, let's say Robert. Uh, choose the date format which is inherent to your Excel sheet minus date, month and year. You can also choose month, date and year and then update the date format so the display will go accordingly. So let me just go back to date, month and year and update the date format. The date, I'm going to say the date of birth is, let's just say 24 August 2010. Gender, I'm going to pick boy. As soon as you select boy, the whole sheet becomes blue. Uh, if you select a girl, it would become a pink or a pinkish hue. So let's select a boy. And then the weight unit, I'm going to pick kilograms and the height unit as, let's say, centimeters. As soon as I pick these measurements, you can see the percentile data from CDC populate automatically on our chart. So let's begin by entering the data. Let's pick, you know, around two months after the birth. So as soon as you put the date, you get the age from one month. Uh, the weight I'm going to put as 4.1 kilos. And you'll immediately get the weight percentile of the child. And it will also be plotted on the weight growth chart here. And height I'm going to pick it as 52 centimeters, let's say. It's going to show that it's in the 5th to 10th percentile and it's going to be plotted here. And let's say after a month again you enter the data so it shows that now the weight percentile has gone to less than fifth percent and the height is also gone below fifth percent so let's just enter some mock data here now there i've entered just two more data and you can see that how the weight percentile has progressed and the height percentile has progressed for that child and also you can track it here and compare it to the 5th, 10th, 25th, 50th, 75th, 90th and 95th percentile and see the growth progress based on both percentile and time. Note that the chart here is specific to the gender. So if I change gender to girl, the chart will move. And so if you want to optimize your chart axis, you can just click this button. It will show you the best possible view based on our entries and the gender selection. Now let's see a 2 to 20 year. Okay, let's put some data in. I'm going to pick the same date. Uh, let's become a girl. Date format, I want to stick with date, month and year. Weight unit, let's go to pounds this time. And 
I'm going to click inches. So you can see that our chart seems to be uh, out of the range because we clicked on pound. Uh, so all you need to do is click on this button called optimize chart axis and once you click it, the chart will then optimize itself to the best possible view. And now let's enter some data. So I've just entered two data. You can see here that once you enter the date, you get the age in terms of year and months. And when you put again similar to the 0 to 24 month tracker, as you enter the weight and the height data, you can see the percentile for that specific entry and also the progress on the chart on the right. So let's say now that you wanted to change the date format. I'm going to pick from date, month and year. and Let's just see month date here just for viewing purposes. I can change the selection here and update the date format and that you can see the date format changed. If I go to date month here, again update it. That's right. Now if I change the weight data now from pound to kgs, now you see that the weight chart has gone down because now it's in kgs. However, our information out here also needs to be changed because this is in pounds. So if I'm going to optimize my chart axis right now, it's going to be wrong data because here the weight is supposed to be in kgs, but we mentioned it in pounds. So you need to be aware of that. Once you do the setup, it's better to not change any information. So again, let's revert to pound and I'll optimize the chart axis. So you get accurate data for both the percentile and the track. You get three sets of trackers for each age group. That is, you have three sheets of 0 to 24 months and three sheets of 2 to 20 years. This tool is lightweight and simple to use by anybody so that you can easily track the growth of your children.